All right, all right. <clears throat> so this will be the first video I do post. I'm going to try to do it just in one shot. I'll be comparing a lot of RC cars as I go on and throughout this. I'm going to try to do my best. As far as this time is not to go over too many things that don't need to be going over. This is the Armour Mojave 17 scale. Um, pretty much either a desert racer or an SCT. All the diffs are unlocked. Uh, Typhon V5, the Mojave is a V1. Typhon's the V5 from this year. Uh, got the bigger Katar wheels on it, running the stock uh, Deboots Fortress on the Mojave. And again, you guys can see what a big size difference it is from the 1 7th to the 1 8th. And yes, the Typhon is a smaller 1 8th, but even with the big tires, the Mojave is just massive. So uh, we're running full stock electronics in both, uh, stock servos, uh, pretty much stock everything except for these wheels right here um, and the lights. Pretty much it, stock uh, stock radios. Um, I do have a DX3. Uh, I'm gonna slowly get that mixed in with all my stuff. But uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's start with the Typhon. I haven't had the Typhon out in a little while, so. The Typhon, I love. The Typhon is my all around, like definitely one of my favorite cars, just period. Um, it's super capable. You throw on-road tires on, it's a drift drag, speed run truck, uh, throw these bigger tires on and I'm, I'm popping wheelies no problem and if I go on the road, you know, I could do standing backflips and all that. Um, but the Typhon really is just a fantastic car. And definitely has plenty of speed, I just hit myself in the face with a rock. Yeah. So the Typhon, I, I, I love Armas guys, um, and I love whatever, whatever works, works, right? But I do run a lot of Armas, and man, that Typhon is just a beast. I did put uh, 200K oil in it, nothing too crazy, but definitely more than stock. I think stock is like maybe 100. Oh, and there she did take one little tumble, which is the only thing I was gonna say every once in a while, the Typhon, uh, especially with the little bit bigger tires, it'll take a little tumble, but you know, that's all right. She's still, it's just such a good car. I've, I've done backflips, standing backflips, uh, jumps, everything. I've, I've not broken anything on this. And I'm sure I've put at least 20 battery packs through it. Um, just a great car. All right. And again, that size difference compared to the Mojave is just nutty. All right, let's get the Mojave out then, right? So the Mojave is so fun and so responsive and it, it feels so crazy. It just feels like a little, feels like a big old beast. I mean, it takes, sorry, I'll try to keep in the light for you guys, but the suspension just takes everything. It slides around a little bit of some wet grass going on right now, but uh, literally had zero issues. Haven't had to replace a damn thing on it. And she's just like really fast. I mean, it's it's hard to say much bad about the Mojave. Uh, it's a great truck. I'm not sure I realized I'd like it so much. It is just a fast off-road beast though. As I say, it'll still flip if I, if I really try, but. But one seventh scale, again, full stock. Uh, the Deboots Fortress tires are great. The body, the roll cage, everything they did to this is just fucking absolutely great. Um, as you guys can see, I mean, we're getting a little dirty, but not too bad. All right, let's bring it around and trade them out again. Again, I'm gonna be comparing different RC cars as I go. This is just the first one. And, uh, you know, either one is a great basher for uh, doing stuff, but if you wanna use one on the road, on the road and have it be able to drift and drag and do all that and, and, and turn it into different things easier, the Typhon is definitely the way to go. The Typhon is my literally just do all truck. Um, it's just, you just throw whatever tires you're gonna do with it and uh, and she's going. And uh, I don't know what else. You know, as far as racing racing, it's, it, I don't know. I. She, she definitely takes some nice little sharp turns and cuts and everything. Oh, 
But you know, yeah, with, with the bigger tires, my, it won't wheelie with those with the stock K tars it comes with. Not like this anyway. Um, so yeah, I definitely suggest a little bit bigger tires, some thicker center diff fluid, and uh, and the Typhons have no problem being uh, just just a little bit of everything and every penny worth the asking or the retail price of 500. This so far is the only one I bought new and I haven't regretted it at all. <clears throat> I do get a lot of my stuff used, so but usually pretty lightly used. Woo! Yeah. Again, it's just so tight and compact. The arms are small. It's it's hard to break much unless you just slam it into something. Um I just it's been hard. I haven't broken anything on it. And it's just an absolute blast to drive, too. It kind of just conquers everything with confidence. Super capable buggy. All right. And again, that's the 1 8 scale. And it is a small 1 8 scale, but, you know, it just does so much for what it is. But look how much smaller it is than the Mojave. It's crazy. But it, I don't see it not... It takes on the terrain just the same to me. The Mojave is just a lot more cushier uh, on the suspension. A lot cushier. Sorry, coming out of the light, my bad. A lot cushier, more like... Uh, just more of an SCT. And that's, you know... And, and that's in versus a, a, a buggy. Um, or sorry, I... I I don't remember if they exactly classify this as an SCT or a trophy truck or, or what, but uh, it doesn't have a straight axle rear or anything, so. But yeah, I mean, the Mojave is super fun. And it's, uh, I don't, I, it's, it's hard to explain. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did until I got it and drove it. I literally had to get it and drive it to be like, oh shit, okay. Um, and it's a great truck. Uh, if I was going to only be able to keep one, the Mojave or the Typhon, uh, because I got the Typhon first and I bought it brand new, I mean, I'm going to keep my Typhon, you know, if I had to, but, and again, and for all around driving, I mean, yeah, the Typhon is the one, but if you want an off-road 1.7 scale that just does some dirty damage, some dirty work, just super clean, very clean transfer of power. Even from this stock remote, very responsive, everything. And again, unless you fucking slam it at 60 miles an hour, it's, it's really hard to break anything on these. And it is just, it's lightning fast. It's very, very much faster than I thought it would be. And I give it a lot to those DeBoots Fortress tires are just awesome, awesome off-road tires. I mean, they're just, they're fucking... They're great tires. All right, back to the Typhon. And again, the difference is, you know, we, we got a, a eight scale buggy versus a seven scale, you know, trophy truck slash short course truck. And uh, you could tell the suspension is just a, 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 a lot more like cushy on this one, you know, whereas the buggy, it's just, it's there's not much room there, but it handles that really well. And again, I don't have either of them. Uh, they're pretty much just tuned like halfway down on each, a quarter, you know, third, whatever. Nothing crazy. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, as far as just vehicles that don't really have any issues and don't really have any problems with, these, these guys are great. And again, as you see, the Typhon I've had a little, it, it flips over a little easier with the bigger tires. But I also like to bring it out and wheelie it, and you know, and those smaller tires just won't do that. I mean, not that it can't take any turns, but it just... The Typhon's just, man, I don't know, it just does everything. First car I've done a backflip off of a ramp with, and first car I did a standing backflip with, you know. It's just great. You just thicken that center diff load, throw some bigger tires on that fit and don't scrape, and you're good. And it's lightning fast, too.
Yeah, I, I, yeah. Typhon is my favorite all-arounder. Hands down. Ooh, that took a little dirt damage. That's nothing. But it is gonna have some fucking, oh, that's gonna be fun to clean. But no, seriously, it's not that bad. You know, you gotta have fun with these things and go home and clean them anyway, so it's whatever. So yeah, I mean, again, it's, 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 they're both very, very capable of driving off-road, like, uh, in this type of grassy, you know, a little bit slick grassy situations. They're both capable. They're not getting stuck. The Mojave's actually doing really well tonight. Um, because the tires, since it's a little bit wetter, are not able to slip out, because they really do grip like crazy. Like, it's fucking nuts. And even this thing will be popping up on the wheelies once I'm in, in the speed. But, um, you know, this is definitely more of a ground truck just for driving around. I don't know how it would be as an on-road vehicle, really. I'm not really going to ever probably really do that with it. I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yep. And again, you know, that's like 10 tumbles and no issues. And that's what's great about these trucks that without the longer arms, not that I don't love my crate and stuff, but these trucks with the shorter arms, so much harder to break anything on them, unless you're slamming into shit. But again, you know, we're just kind of comparing the seventh scale to the eighth scale on the Armas, we're in pretty stock on everything besides these tires. Still the K-Tars that they come with, but these are from uh, off an older Creighton. So, but uh, you know, the little little slippery grass conditions out here, uh, and they're both just fucking doing excellent. So let's we'll go back. Yeah, I don't know. They're just they're very fun to drive. Both of them super fun to drive, super capable. Oh yeah. And Armatuff, as you guys know, it's old Armatuff all the way. <laughs> yeah, the Mojave is super fun. I again, I mean, if you don't have any car at all. I'm gonna say get that Typhon. Uh, but if you definitely want to just stick to off-road racing, you know, get the Mojave. Not that the Typhon won't do it, but the Mojave does it really well. The Typhon is, uh, I just think the Typhon's more of a basher in general. I don't think it's, oh, there we go, humble. It's not good for much else. Than, well, I mean, not that it's not good for racing and shit, but I mean, I don't see anybody really racing a Mojave. But, super powerful on the success, I mean, it's kind of, yeah, I mean, I don't all, oh, see, and there's the only thing that I don't like is when the Typhoon takes little tumbles, which my sand really doesn't do, and the Creighton really won't do unless I fucking am doing some stupid shit. But again, no issues, I just, there's bigger tires on it.
can't really go wrong with either one. They're both gonna take the hits and shit and keep going. And I mean, I am running them both on 6S, but nothing crazy. The 50C, 5200 mile packs. Yeah. one more time take the typhon again and I mean I'm just kind of letting you guys watch and see what you know they're both super fun to drive but as far as owning just one oops there goes the remote the typhon's my choice it's super tight and compact it's only a one scale difference off and it's just a beast. Uh, I got lucky because uh, one of the guys at JJ Customs uh, pointed me in this direction when I couldn't decide what to get. And I, I definitely never looked back. And he made a great suggestion. This is definitely a, a definitely just a go-to car. I, I love the Typhon. Woo! That was just the tire hitting the fucking plastic. Tried to cut it out a little, but you know. Oops. Alright, I'm taking a pick up some shit right here. chips out so you guys see if I torque it out like and turn it right off the start it, it, it just wants to roll that's really it's only downfall in my opinion yes, if you, just, but if you lose traction real quick on it you can just slide it So when it comes to things like that, the Mojave definitely is a bit more fun. So yeah, super capable. Love the Mojave. Love it a lot more than I thought I was gonna. Uh, definitely super fast for a 1.7 scale and it's pretty heavy too. But yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of, that's the general how they drive. Oh, I had no issues with either yet. Yeah, fucking can't, it's, it's hard to go wrong. And I'm just using stock remotes and everything, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing special. Alright, so that's about it for tonight. Guys, let me know what you think, Mojave or Typhon, or do you gotta have them both? Feel like you kind of gotta have them both you gotta collect them all right but yeah super super awesome if you guys don't fuck with them firefly glass uh, and yeah any questions comments just let me know i'll be doing more comparisons let me know what you want to see next uh creighton typhon uh the mojave a uh, sentence success uh creighton exb uh, limitless in a sec and I think that's about it for now yeah so anyways you're here
Nice, good sound there. Everything sounds good. And the detail on this just once on the Mojave body is fucking dope. Super huge fucking uh, roll cage and everything built in there. And it's super nice. Meanwhile, the Typhon's cool because I mean the body's like 30 or 40 bucks to replace, whereas this is like over $100, so that's kind of nice. Uh, got the exposed forks because the desert buggy and yeah, I've scraped them up, but they're fine. They're fine. No issues there with the uh, integrity or anything like that. And then of course this, nothing's exposed, you know. The bodies, they take a lot of hits. They're eventually, you know, they will break a little bit, but uh, yeah. Uh, this one's definitely had some batteries through it by myself. This one, this one's got some batteries through it. But yeah, there we go, Arma Tough. Appreciate you guys for watching. Arma, appreciate it. The boots on the tires all around. The buggies, short course trucks. I'll be running them all. It's crazy how the suspension is super huge on this fucking truck. It's, it's pretty nuts. It gets a lot of travel. Where the buggy is really more flat and planted. So it's more like, it's more nimble is what I call it. And this one kind of sloshes around, but in a good way. All right, catch you guys next time.